Hello and welcome back to another video. Today we have part 5 of the video series R Tutorial for Beginners and we will talk about summary statistics. So basically how you can get a quick overview of all the properties your data has. So of course this starts with your mean, your variance, uh, your maximum, your minimum, all those kinds of things. But I will also show you more sophisticated things like the skew or the kurtosis or Gini's mean difference. So basically all the things R lets you visualize and display about your data very quickly. Uh, yeah, let's get started. So of course the first thing we need is we need some data to analyze. And uh, I will just generate some random data with the sample function in R, uh, but it should merely serve as a placeholder for your data. So uh, yeah, the sample function, the first argument is the possible values your data can take. So I will just say integers between 1 and 20, then the vector size is, is 30, and then replace I will do to true. So this means that uh, the integers between 1 and 20 can appear multiple times in my data. So uh, this is how it looks like. If you don't know how to work with vectors yet, you should definitely uh, check out part 3 of my series, uh, because there I explain it very thoroughly. So R offers multiple packages which uh, let you display summary statistics for your data. Uh, I will start with the most simple package, which is the base package. So the base package is of course pre-installed on your computer, so you don't have to worry about manually installing it. And the way you do it is you just type in summary and then data, and yeah, you get your minimum, you get your first quantile, uh, your median, your mean, your third quantile, and your maximum. If you want them individually, you can also, of course, type in min, and then data, max, and then data, and then mean, data, and uh, then also you can get the median with data. And then there's also the quantile function, which gives you all quantiles. So, the, well, not all quantiles, but uh, the main ones at least. And then you can also uh, have the range, we type in range, and then data. So this gives you the lowest number and the highest number. Um, then you can also have which max data. So this gives you the index of your maximum. So if you see here on top, um, 20 is the maximum. And then uh, the first time this appears is at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. At the 11th index in that is what which.max returns. Analogously, you can also, of course, do which.min, which will just return you the index of your minimum. So seven, uh, index seven here has one, so therefore seven is the answer for which.min. And what you can also do with the base package is you can calculate the variance and the standard deviation. So the variance is with the VAR function, and then data, and uh, the standard deviation is the SD function and then data. Yeah, so this is basically what you can do with the base package in R. Um, with other R packages, you can do a little more than that. And I will show two of them, the HMISC package and the psych package. Uh, let's start with the HMISC package. So I've already installed the HMISC package, so I can just type in library HMISC. If you have not uh, installed it and you don't know how, you can check out part four of this video series where I explain thoroughly how to install uh, and load packages into R. So that once the library has loaded, we can use the describe function to get our descriptive statistics. So we type in describe data. And yeah, we can see instantly that now we have a little bit more elaborate summary statistics. Um, then with the base package, uh, we start here on the top left with a number of observations. So 30, of course, in our case, then a number of missing values. Of course, here it's zero because uh, by construction, this is, of course, the case. But if you're working with real data, this can come in quite handy. Then we have um, the number of distinct values. So 14 in our case. Uh, we also have the mean, the genie's mean difference. This means that is the that's the mean absolute difference between any pair, pairs of observations. And then we have a number of quantiles. So, uh, for example, the 10% quantile, which means that 10% uh, yeah, of the data is below 2.9 in this case. 
Then we have the five lowest values, the five highest values, and we also have uh, all the values and uh, their according frequencies and proportions, um, which also gives us a nice overview of our data. And the last package I want to show you is the psych package. So first of all, we will also load psych into R. And uh, we will see here that uh, the describe function is uh, masked from the package hmisc. So that means that also the descriptive data or the, the function with the descriptive statistics in the package psych is also called describe. Um, so I talked about this in the fourth video of this series where we're installing and uh, downloading the packages. And now it should be made clear that we use the describe function of the psych package. So we write psych and then a double colon and then describe and then data. And yeah, you can see that also here we get some descriptive statistics. Um, we get how many observations with the n, we get the mean, the standard deviation, the median, the trimmed mean, which means it's the mean when you exclude outliers, uh, then the MAD, which is the median absolute deviation, minimum, maximum, the range, and then the skew and also the kurtos kurtosis and the standard error. So yeah, we can also see that here we get some more elaborate descriptive statistics of our data. Um, we can also, of course, with all the functions I've shown to you today, uh, insert data frames if you've already worked with data frames. Um, you don't have to just insert vectors, you can also insert whole data frames. Yeah, so uh, this sums up this video. Uh, if you want to support this channel, please subscribe. This also keeps me motivated to create new content because uh, then I know that there is an audience who uh, finds these videos helpful. Uh, if you have any feedback or recommendations for future videos, please leave them in the comments. Um, I appreciate you watching this and I uh, hope it was helpful. See you soon and take care. If you like this content, please leave a like and subscribe to this channel for more videos in the future. If you would like to support this channel financially, there is a donation link in the description.